Pacific Highway that we found in San Diego. It basically started at the airport. Our first day going up the coast, we traveled about 135 miles. We went from San Diego up to Santa Monica. And we stayed to the coast as best we could, but a lot of it was done on I-5. And we were able to stop at some parks and some beaches. But otherwise, a lot of the tourist type activities were mostly closed because of COVID-19 restrictions. Yeah. Are they closed? Are these locals? What's the story? Oh, yeah. Are they locals allowed? Is that the Seems like there was something like that. Like partial openings. Can you imagine cruising the coast in a convertible? This is the day. This is what you imagine. It was beautiful. Really, the only part that you would ever need to do is from San Diego to like say Santa Barbara. During that part is beautiful ocean views. After that it gets cold and foggy. Really this is all the trip you need. This was also the day that a guy came on running up to us at a gas station in Oceanside. He was like oh my god I always wanted one of these. I had it on my wall in my bedroom. Okay, that was pretty cool too. I'm amazing. With Burning Man being canceled this year, it was super cool to just come across this random art vehicle. It just really made us think of Burning Man and it made us happy, so we wanted to include it in here so it could make you happy too. Pick it up. Wait, no, you've got no gloves. That's okay. Yay! You can always pick up trash. Well, I made it to San Onofre. This is the beginning of the PCA. So basically, look for any available parking space anywhere.
honestly. Redondo Beach, King Harbor. Finally back to the coast. Highway 1 took us through the city for a while. Now we are here. So we're stopping at this little cute little Mexican food place right here. We we'll grab some dinner. The coast is right over there somewhere. And uh, once we hit the coast, we'll probably try to find a motel. As usual with Mexican food, we definitely got our money's worth. And it is so good. This is so cute. And it's a electric car. Dude, this darn thing. 6.30, we finally made it back to the beach. Okay, so I should have done this last night when the bed was all made and it was all beautiful, but we really liked this room. It was nice. Under there is a refrigerator and a microwave all hidden away. Um, I don't know, not a great view or anything. Nice big mirror. And then over here in the sink, you know, it's also got a blow dryer and then just Typical nice shower after the night on the boat. <laughs> it was really nice to have, you know, an air conditioner and a real bathroom. So anyway, this place was super clean and nice. It was called a Sure Stay by Best Western and we loved it. The Santa Monica cost breakdown. Fuel 2520. We only fueled once during the day. We didn't do really that many miles. Food, 104.41. 47 was the restaurant. The rest was Starbucks and snacks. Extras, 49.26. Our steering wheel became too hot to handle. So we had to get a steering wheel cover and parking at the beach. Lodging, 137.34. That was for the Sure Stay, which is my favorite of the best Western one. Our total for today is $316.51. The trip totals up to $753.38. See you next time.